It's the only really Italian thing of me. Smoking. I'm from Milano, Italy. I lived there my first 18 years of my life. I wanted to leave Italy. I didn't want to follow the rest of my friends. I wanted to go somewhere where I didn't know anybody. So I pretty much just chose the farthest place that accepted me, <laughs> uh, which happened to be Miami, which is pretty cool. Before I was doing biology and it was just a thing to go to school for and I ended up getting pretty bad grades in it as well. Now I changed completely to art. I find that I really like it. It's, it's really satisfying to be able to make things with your hands. I just love the idea of something being created in fire. Maybe a little bit of a pyromaniac, just a little bit. One thing that I really enjoy about glass, even over other forms of uh, sculpture, how immediate it is. I like the instant gratification and the instant, or the instant failure of glass blowing. You know, it's not really for patient people. I'm a very impatient person. I just like to be able to fail quickly so I can try again quickly. So I'm going to try and make a shape now that's commonly known as a floppy bowl uh, or an Italian fazzoletto, which means a tissue bowl. It has to be well timed. <laughs> okay, well that was a fail. Let's call it modern art. I'm never going to be able to do this. Oh, open, 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 open. So you see how the glass can't really fall back into its original shape. It came out decently well. I think one of the things I like the most about glass blowing is being able to make things that I can use. So I like thinking about the functionality of objects. It's weird moving from a major where you just have to study a bunch of things to a major where you're making things every day and I feel so much more fulfilled and it's all because I just took one class in glass blowing. <laughs>